Let's be honest, folks. Our Republican Party has just been through some dark days. And if you listen to the experts in Washington, you'd think the darkest days are yet to come. But from where I stand, out here in real America, the sun's already coming up. And the bright new day in our Republican Party is with Republican governors. Of all the Republican Party's four national committees, only one has a fundraising advantage over its Democratic counterpart, the RGA. It's outraising them two to one. And only the RGA can claim credit for winning two out of the three races it faced this year. Across America, Republican governors have an average approval rating of an amazing 63%. Governors like Sarah Palin in Alaska with nearly universal approval to Charlie Crist of Florida, who is making a swing state more Republican every day. Good policy is good politics. Republican governors win elections because we turn ideas into results. You saw that in Mississippi with Haley Barber, and you saw it in Louisiana with our good friend Bobby Jindal. That's the answer to our party's problems, sticking to principles, rolling up our sleeves and getting to work. That's how governors like Matt Blunt and Mark Sanford and Rick Perry and Tim Pawlenty and many others are doing it, and it's how things work at the RGA. We're not just working on a campaign plan, we're working on a long-term plan to make sure the sun's always shining on states with Republican governors. For the first time ever, RGA has a plan, a four-year plan to win back the majority of governorships for the Republican Party. Strategic budgeting, candidate recruiting, aggressive fundraising, a consistent staff, and a commitment to helping governors develop innovative ideas to lead their states forward. All these will help RGA leverage its abilities and return Republican leadership to our nation's capitals. I've seen the RGA up close in every election for more than 20 years. I can't ever remember a time when it was providing more value than it does right now. The RGA is making a difference in campaigns, and that allows Republican governors to make a difference in our states. In Mississippi, Governor Haley Barber's wise decisions eliminated a $720 million deficit. His principled leadership helped pass tort reform. Then, Governor Barber led his state's recovery from Hurricane Katrina. Now he's transforming the Mississippi economy. In my state, after all we've been through, people are aware that it matters who wins elections. And the organization that's enabling the good guys to win is the Republican Governors Association. Sonny hadn't drunk the Kool-Aid up there in Washington. He knows that the real innovation occurs out in the states, and he's providing clear-eyed leadership. The RGA contributed directly to Governor Barber's campaign, helping him win re-election with 58% of the vote, leading a Republican ticket that swept seven out of eight statewide offices, making Mississippi history. And in Louisiana, the RGA ran a comprehensive multimedia statewide independent campaign called Second Chance Louisiana. The campaign utilized direct mail, the internet, and inspirational television to support Bobby Jindal's historic campaign. It's the first Republican pickup of a governor's office anywhere in America since 2004, and it shook Louisiana's political establishment to the core. We didn't just have an election this year in Louisiana. We had a referendum on the future of an entire state. I ran a campaign that reached out to everyone. I'm proud of our Republican vision of reform, ethics, and innovation won the day. We made history, and it wouldn't have happened without the help of the RGN. When in your lifetime have Louisiana's leaders looked out for anyone but themselves? Their ideas left us with corruption and incompetence. But now we have a second chance to build the state we've always deserved. Look at the ideas of Bobby Jindal. Ideas for a safer, more educated, and prosperous Louisiana. Smart, honorable ideas at secondchancelouisiana.com. The RGA's independent advertising fit our state. It complemented my campaign, and it made a difference. We're not finished making history in Louisiana. We're going to declare war on corruption, reduce taxes, create new jobs for our people. You're going to see a new day in Louisiana, thanks in part to the RGA. Louisiana and Mississippi are just the beginning. Now it's on to year two of our four-year plan. In 2008, the RGA will be a major factor in places where we already have a strong governor, like in Missouri, where Governor Matt Blunt has been one of the most innovative governors in the country, balancing the budget, 
increasing educational funding, and reforming a broken health care system. My duty is to lead our state towards our full potential, and I will not shirk this responsibility. Working together, we can provide every Missouri child with a world-class education, improve access to affordable health care, provide a climate that helps entrepreneurs create good family-supporting jobs. And we'll be in Indiana, where Governor Mitch Daniels has done the hard work and taken the tough stands of a true leader. And in Vermont and North Dakota, where Republican leadership has kept the Capitol in Republican hands time after time, your RGA will be there. And with our plan in place, we'll have the resources to take Republican principles to Democratic state houses. America needs more Republican governors, putting common sense and business principles to work for taxpayers. From open seats in North Carolina to Delaware, to challenges from the great Northwest to New England, your RGA will be there. We'll have strong candidates. We'll run sophisticated campaigns. We'll have the right ideas. And with your help, the Republican Governors Association, your RGA will bring a new day, some new sunshine, and a new Republican horizon to America.